Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and in this video I'm going to build uh, my gray AIX. So I'm going to run through some little pieces of equipment here that I'm going to be putting on uh, this really beautiful blue riser here, and uh, together we are going to uh, build this bow, and then at the end of the video I'm actually going to shoot my very first shots out of it, so I can't wait to get this assembled because I've been dying to to shoot some arrows through uh, this riser here. So first off, we have the gray AIX riser. For some of our smaller attachments, we're going to be using a Shibuya arrow rest. For our clicker, uh, the biter clicker, uh, this is the chrome blade, uh, is my clicker of choice for this build. I'll be also using a biter plunger. We have a top uh, dampener and weight. Uh, I believe it's actually a doinker weight system. That's going to be going on the top of the riser because I enjoy using uh, a weight on the top of my riser. For our sight, we're going to be using uh, the black gold sight. Very cool, and I think it's gonna work really well uh, with this riser, especially since this is a, you know, a very beefy sight and this bow has a nice structuralness, you know, a structural look to it, and it just feels really strong overall. So I think the combo should pair quite well together. Uh, that's going to be followed by some limbs. I'm going to be using my MK Veracity limbs, and it's all going to be strung with a BCY 8125 uh, string here. I may make another string just for the bow itself uh, down the road, but at least for now, this is going to be my, my temporary string, and it's gonna do a great job regardless. Uh, so with that, it's time to actually put all these pieces together, see how the bow looks. So uh, hopefully you uh, enjoy following me through this process. Okay, so now that we have our table cleared off and uh, the bow is prepped, I did use some uh, isopropyl alcohol just to clean around where uh, the arrow rest is going to go. That makes sure that the arrow rest's glue adheres correctly to the riser so we don't have arrow rests popping off when I'm uh, you know, shooting this bow because we don't want that to happen and then we have to realign everything, get another arrow rest. It's a mess. So to avoid that, I have prepped the riser beforehand uh, just to make it easy for the installation of this arrow rest. All right, so let's break this out of its case. All these little extras. Boop. Right, put that aside. We've got our arrow rest. And we're just going to align it to the riser. Taking off the sticky backing. All right, it's free. It's dangerous now. <laughs> and we're going to use the, uh, the arm here to help lower it into place. So now I've lightly placed it on top of uh, the riser here. It is not uh, placed down. I want to make sure uh, it looks like it's you know pretty straight. Give it a little adjustment here or there. Also, at this point, you could also break out your plunger. And I'm going to screw in the biter plunger some to make sure there's no uh, clearance issues on the hole because the worst thing that could happen besides your arrow rest falling off because you didn't prep the surface correctly would be your plunger not fitting correctly and actually pushing your arrow rest out of the way. Oh, see, look at that. As I screw it in, it actually moved the arrow rest some, so I was a little bit off on my arrow rest placement. The plunger straightened all of that out by screwing it in because it's going to go in the same consistent spot every time. And uh, now I can be really certain that this is in a good spot and I'm going to go and press it down. All right. If we want, we can back the plunger out. And then we can proceed to actually pushing this down a little bit better just to make sure it's it's snug. You know, again, you should probably wait just a little bit for it to, you know, actually you know, fully adhere. Of course, follow Shibuya's directions on proper installation of your arrow rest so you can avoid problems. 
Uh, and now I'm going to screw the plunger back in. And there we go. We have both the arrow rest and the plunger installed already. We started off with just the arrow rest, but of course we need the plunger to finish the job and do it correctly. So with that, we could use a clicker at this point. So our clicker of choice, that 0.25 biter chrome clicker, it's going to fit great in the hole that's provided for the clicker on this gray bow. Screw that clicker in. Look at that. All right, it's going to make a pretty good sound. I could always add a little bit of a bend to this clicker to make a, a stronger clicking sound. But uh, we'll see how it goes when I'm actually shooting arrows through this riser. All right, next up is the installation of the sight. And at any point in time, if you're curious on the pricing of any of these uh, you know, pieces of equipment that I'm putting onto this bow, on this bow, or the price of uh, the riser itself, uh, links to that will be in the description down below. You can go and check out Gray Archery and see uh, you know, the availability and you know, their information on the Gray AIX. Plus, there'll be information on all the different accessories I am adding to this bow, such as the sight, the clicker, the plunger, and more. So, with the black cold case open, we can go and install the mounting bracket to our riser. All right, just two simple screws. I'm gonna preset them a little bit by hand before we tighten them down. And I'm going to lightly tighten each one until I have both of them down. So that's lightly tightened. And so is that one there. All right, so now that they're set, we'll go back to the first one. Tighten that some more. Tighten that some more. Very good. You don't want to tighten one all the way and then the other. The holes might not be aligned correctly and things like that. It's best to tighten each screw for the mounting bracket of your sight one at a time, both lightly, and then tighten them more once they're both already pretty snug to the riser itself. Uh, you know, it just makes for a better installation and you don't have to worry about damaging any you know, pieces of your equipment and you just make sure that it's nice and, and balanced and level. You don't have one screw way over tightened and the other screw kind of uh, all messed up because it's trying to fit into a hole it wasn't in line with. After that, we can go and slide in our sight. And we can add our sight pin to it. I am using the Trueball on Excel uh, Chef scope here. So uh, it's, it's one of my, if not my big favorite currently. Uh, it works great for me. So uh, I want to uh, have it on, on this bow because it's a good good sight pin to use and of course I need to go up one size on my allen key to tighten that up all right so that's all in place now it's time to add our weights and our stabilizer and our limbs so next up is our top weight that'll screw very nicely into this top mounting point here all right nice and snug as you can see this riser is already you know really coming along starting to look pretty awesome and i'm just i'm getting super excited to shoot this bow uh, i really can't wait to feel how it shoots how it reacts let's continue on we need to add our rex extension and shrewd v bars and then i'll continue on with the limbs and the string and then we can go and shoot some arrows through this Okay, so now we have our shrewd set up here. We're putting on uh, the Rex extension with the shrewd V-bar. We're going to be running uh, shrewd Revell stabilizer rods with biter V-boxes on them. Conveniently, I already have two of these in blue, so it really matches nicely with the riser. Of course, my front rod is in green. I do, I do try to keep everything the same color, and you know the whole the whole look of the bow I've tried to keep all that the same but then again the string i am using is blue and green so it does kind of match up uh, pretty nicely all right we got two and 
Now it's time for the front rod. Cool, look at that. So after this is just the installation of the limbs onto the riser and then we just gotta string it. Okay, so now it's time to install the limbs. First one. Oh yeah, that was nice. Let's, 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 let's hear that again. Ooh, mm-hmm. Second one. Uh, just incompetence on my part. Ah, uh, there we go. Nice click. Good stuff. All right, so time to go and string this up and uh, then we'll get to shooting. Okay, so we got everything assembled. The bow's looking pretty awesome. I still might make another string just for this bow, but uh, we got our brace height set, our knocking point set. Everything's nicely aligned. It was really easy to do. And now I'm finally going to get to shoot my first shot. All right, here we go. Uh, this is at 46 pounds, uh, Easton X10s, 410 shafts, uh, big knocks. Whoo, whoo, yeah, a quickie, it's a quick bow. All right, let's give it another go. I used to move my arrow clicker a little bit, move it a little bit in. Let's go again. All right. <laughs> uh, this is going to be uh, really fun. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go have to see, you know, what my sight settings and stuff are at 70. I'm gonna look forward to, you know, fully tuning this bow and checking out all of its, you know, all of its things. You know, does it have any weird quirks? Uh, you know, how is it performing for me? And uh, yeah, we'll continue on. I'm gonna be testing it, and eventually we're going to get to a full uh, review of this riser. Uh, at this point in time. Uh, I think it's really, uh, really promising. I really do like uh, the performance that I'm feeling so far. You got this really solid riser, like it feels solid in your hand. But at the same point in time, it, it's really, really sending uh, these arrows downrange quite quickly. It, it definitely gets uh, these veracity limbs moving, maybe even more so than the bow I'm currently using. Uh, we will have to see though. And with that, I will have a link down in the description to Gray Archery so you can learn more about uh, this bow. Uh, be sure to follow them on Facebook and other uh, forms of social media because uh, they're definitely coming out with some pretty cool stuff. And stay tuned to future videos as I cover more about the Gray AIX. So thank you so much for watching and as always, happy shooting.